Join me today as I create these four cards using some new paper from In Love Arts, as well as some of my favorite background dies. For my first card, I'm gonna start out by using Cup of Flowers, six by six paper pack. And this is the paper I used in the last week's video. So if you want a complete flip through, you can check out that video as well. But here's a quick little flip through of all of the papers in this paper pack. Of course, I've cut some up, so it's missing a few. You do get two sheets of each piece of paper, and there's 12 different designs. I'm also going to be using this uh, background die that's a paper piece, and this is one that I've used in the past. And then I'm going to be using this stamp set from In Love Arts as well, and this is one of my favorite stamp sets from them. And so I'm just going to be using the script stamp to create a background. There's so many different little background stamps in this stamp set. So I'm just gonna use the script today to go through and I'm just going to stamp randomly. It's okay if you overlap. It's okay, like you see there, I didn't press down and miss the center. I just want a random amount of script on the um, cardstock. It does not have to be perfect stamping. And then I'm just going to use my frame die and cut out the frame. But now when you cut out your frame, if you're following along and wanna craft along with me, be sure to keep these pieces together because we want to be sure that we put these back in the spots that they were cut out from. So I'm going to release my frame and it's this one's a little thinner, so you wanna take your time removing it from the die just so you don't tear it since it is so thin. It depends on your paper that you're using. This is pretty heavy cardstock, but I like to be careful because it is a thinner um, frame. So I'm just gonna layer this on top of some light turquoise paper. And what I wanna do is I wanna be certain that I just center it up. I'm taking my time with this one. I want to get it centered up from side to side and from top to bottom. And so what I've done is I've cut the cardstock a little under a quarter of an inch larger on all sides. And then I'm just gonna come back in with those pieces that I told you to hold on to, and we're just going to fill in our spaces. Now, I'm doing this one a little different. If you've seen me create these cards before using this die, and I've got several videos that I can link below using this die, most of the time I take and put in different pieces of paper so that it's all mixed up and kind of looks like a quilt. But today, I wanted to just come back in with these pieces that are typically thrown away, and I'm going to use them for my background, and then we'll layer the different colored papers on top. So you could just use the blue as your background, like you've seen me do in other videos, but today I wanted something a little bit different, so I'm just going to tuck all of these pieces back in, and then I am going to come back in and ink all of the pieces that I've cut out. I've gone ahead and used the smaller dies to cut out all of these pieces that fit within the frame die, and I'm just going to now just add those to their places in the die, and that's what I love about these cards. There's no measuring, no having to figure out how much cutting to do or anything, because it's all done for you. You just run the die through your machine, and now I did choose two different papers for these larger triangles. They kind of look like the same paper, but they're not. I chose two different papers from the paper pack, and then I chose a third paper for the side pieces here that I'm layering in. So for this one, I used about three different pieces of cardstock. And so I'm just layering them on top of the script that I added back in. And then I'm coming back in with some greenery and some flowers that I created and just to decorate up the card. And then I have a little butterfly that I've cut out and I'm adding it. I've cut it out and inked it and I'm adding it to the center of the card as well. These cards come together so quickly and they're so simple to make due to the die being so easy and like I say all the time it's like a craft kit in a die you just choose the papers you want and then you've got all everything done for you all you have to do is run it through your machine and then glue it together and you have a beautiful card now I did come back and ink the edges of my turquoise paper or my teal paper and then I've gone ahead and cut a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and three quarters. So it's a little bit different than an A2 size card so that it can fit this framed and this design on it because the frame is just a little bit different from an A2 size. And then once I added the turquoise paper, I needed a different size card front. 
So I did cut the card base so that it frames out my blue paper as well. So you can see that there's a little bit of the cream around the edge. And so I wanted to layer it up like that so it bring in more of that cream color. And this is my completed card. And so I love how this turned out. I love this paper pack. It's, it makes it very easy as well to create a card because you really don't have to do a lot of decorating. The paper itself is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get started on our next card. So for the next card, I'm going to be using the 6x6 Happily Ever After paper pack. Once again, this one has 12 designs and two of each design. And I've gone ahead and pulled out the papers that I want to use, so that's why there's some missing from that paper pack. And I've gone ahead and cut out a lot of my pieces. So this is what I call the heart background frame. So once again, this is a paper pieced die. And this one, all of these dies have like a quilt look to them, and I absolutely love them, and I love the ease of using them. So I've just cut out my frame using one of the pieces of 6x6 six six paper, and I'm going to just center that up again onto my cream-colored cardstock. Now for this one, I did cut the cardstock a little larger around the edge. You can see here I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little over an eighth of an inch around each edge. And then I'm coming back in and I'm inking all of the little pieces that we cut out using some brown ink. And I'm just doing that kind of to frame the pieces out and give it more of a vintage feel. So I'm just going to go in and layer all of my pieces in again. So this time I did not add the pieces back in like I did the card before. I'm just going to add the little small pieces in that we cut out that goes. And we're using the background for our... Um, which you can see through our smaller pieces. So then I've just added this onto a craft colored card base, and then I am just going to dress it up again with some more of this greenery. And I am going to add these little flowers. So these flowers, the dyes that I'm using for these flowers will also be included on the page that I will link to for all the products that I'm using for this video. And this die comes with so many different little flowers. So I decided to layer these up, some larger ones and smaller ones to add. And I'm trying to match the colors of the flowers that's in the background paper. And once again, another simple card came together so quickly. The dies, like I said, make it so easy. And these are my favorite dies. You've probably seen me use these in several videos if you follow me. If not, once again, I will link to all of the videos below that I use these in. So for this one, once again, I use the Happily Ever After 6x6 paper pad along with the heart background die, and there is my completed card. Now for the next card, I'm using the Gorgeous Flowers paper pack. Once again, this is a paper pack that I used in a previous video last week, and that is the card that I created using this paper pack last week and I really love how it turned out. I love the soft colors in this paper pack. Once again, I did a good flip through of it in last week's video and there's several papers missing because of course I've created the card before that I showed you and I've gone ahead and pulled out the papers that I'm going to be using today. But here's a quick little flip through so you can take a look at all of these gorgeous papers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And once again, these make it so easy to create a card. So I'm using this new die that I used. It was a new one I showed you in last week's video. So I'm going to show you a different way to use these dies. So these dies, you know, have the frame and then you have the small pieces that you cut out to add inside of your frame. Well, today we're just going to be using the frame. And so I'm going to cut out the frame using some turquoise. Once again, the same light turquoise paper. And this frame is very easy to get out because it is a wider frame, so it comes out very easy. You don't have to be as careful with it. And this card's going to come together very quickly, so be sure you don't blink. That is, the, that is how quick this one comes together. So I'm just using one of my 6x6. Six six. I've chose one that I really like the background of. And I'm going to just add some glue to my frame, and, I'm going to, and then I'm going to attach it to the 6x6 six six paper. And so I'm just deciding, for this one, it actually worked out that the upper right-hand corner was a perfect place to position my frame because that's what I, in the center, I was really focusing on what did I want in the center square there, the center diamond. And so that's what helped me to decide where to put this on my paper. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess paper. 
So now I'm going to be adding the paper to a A2 size card. And so for this frame, it fits up the top and bottom of an A2 size card. It is a, the same size as an A2 size card, but the sides are skinnier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue this piece to the very far left side of my card where the fold is, and then I'll come and trim off the edge. And so we'll have just a skinnier card, but I really love how these look when you do this. So this is a very fast and simple way to make a card. So now we have our card. You could just add a sentiment and be done. You really do not have to add anything else. It's gorgeous enough that you can leave it like that. But I have this little butterfly fairy that I've colored up and decided that I would add her to the front of my card. And I thought she went perfect with these papers, so I decided to just add her to this card. And so I'm just trying to line her up on, one, on that line that's coming across the bottom there, the diagonal line. But by doing so, she's hanging off a little bit, so I'm just going to move her over just a little bit and attach her. And so what I've done is I've just cut her out of some cardstock, and I cut out several layers and then glued them together to create her, and then just colored her in with colored pencils. So that is another quick card completed. So once again, I used my die as well as my gorgeous flowers, and that is the card that we have completed that quickly. So I want to show you one more card using the Spring Daisies. And once again, this is another paper that I used in the previous video last week. But I'm trying to do a, just looking through them right now to figure out which one. I hadn't decided which one I wanted to use for this card. And there's lots of beautiful daisies in this um, paper pack. You've got yellows and then you've got white ones and the backgrounds. And so it's really hard to decide which paper to use because they are all so beautiful. And so I've just got to flip through and figure out which one I want for my background. Because once again, we're going to be creating another one of those easy cards. So I've gone ahead and cut out the frame and out of some yellow cardstock. And I really love, I'm holding it close so you can see, I really love the um, stitch design that comes across this frame. And you can see when you run it through your die cutting machine, it leaves that impression of the stitches. And once again, I'm just adding this to my six by six paper. This time the paper was the same all over. So I decided once again to go in the right upper hand corner. That way I can save as much paper as possible. And then I'm this. I'm coming in my scissors. I wanted to show you that if you don't want to cut yours with a paper trimmer, you can always use your scissors. And this is probably the easiest way to do it because you can slant your scissors over just a little bit so that they angle up under your frame. And so you don't trim off your frame and you don't have any paper hanging out underneath the framed piece. So once again, I'm adding this to an A2 size card. And the height of an A2 size card is five and a half. Well, that's the size of this frame, but the frame is only four inches wide. So instead of cutting my card off this time, I'm going to center this frame on the center of the card base. I'm just going to center it up there and have a little bit of white on each side. And it kind of um, just adds another design to your card. And then I'm coming back in with a little bit more greenery. And this greenery die came from In Love Arts but I'm not so certain that this one is still in the shop. If it is, it will be on the same page as all of the other products that I'm using in this video. And then these little daisies that I've created on the side here, they were from an In Love Arts die as well. So if those are still in the shop, I will have those on the page as well. I'm having a little trouble remembering which set of dies these came from. So I will um, have those on the same page. And so I'm just going to add three. I love to do things in threes or do things in odd numbers like that. So I'm just going to add the flowers over the edge. And if you notice, I wanted the greenery to hang off the frame a little bit. I just love the look of that. And so I'm just going to layer these up. And then once again, that's a very quick card. This card came together. I know it's not in, I've cut out some of the work of it, but honestly, it came together very quickly. These are very quick cards to put together, especially if you had a last minute card you need to make. And these are so much fun to um, create. So there's several different ways to use these dies. And I'm sure there's even more ways to use it than what I'm showing you today. But um, I just wanted you to see one of the ways that I have that I am using them. So for this card, I'd use the Spring Daisies, my background die, and then we have our completed card. So here are the completed cards. And I really love how they all turned out. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing me create these today. I hope they have inspired you to create something as well. 
And I will have a link in the description to all of the products that I used. And don't forget, if you decide to order anything, be sure to use coupon code SUSAN25. It's my affiliate code. It helps me out, but you also get 25% off. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.